Hey guys, Michael Scanzello here with Effortless Magician. I'm gonna be breaking down how to light your card trick to look professional. A great lighting, it doesn't cost you a fortune. I'm gonna break down uh, my studio light, a little quick hack for that to get better lighting in a small space. Those run you about 33 bucks on Amazon. But if you wanna go even lower than that, you can get a clamp light from your local hardware store and I'll teach you about a dollar store hack for it to make it uh, for less than 20 bucks, you get a great studio light. I think actually I like it better than my studio light. I also give you a hack on that, less than 20 bucks, studio light. I'll give you a free setup, how to get a completely free setup to have the best quality lighting you can have for your card trick, with a huge tip about making any device's video look good. That is all coming up in this video about how to light your card tricks. Hope you enjoy it, hope you get a lot of use out of it. And at the end, remember there's gonna be a tech guide to break down all the tips in here and some additional tips on sound and your camera and what to wear even for a video. So check it out. Okay, so here's the view from my actual Logitech C920 camera. I want to show you what that looks like from that point of view. So you can see up here, I have a very bright light. You can see by my head. And then if we move my hands down, it gets dimmer, less bright down here on my chest where I would show my cards off on my card tricks, especially a card like the Ace of Diamonds. You can still see the little indexes in the corner here. Whereas if I was like more up here by my face, it would be washed out. See how the top one's kind of washed out, now the bottom one's getting washed out. Because it's that really super bright light. But if I had dim light all around me, I would just look like I'm all in the dark. Like if my head was down here, see how I look very dim? <laughs> my head looks very dim and dark. So it's sort of okay for a video, but it doesn't look too professional if you're trying to have a good looking video like you see on YouTube and everything. But if I have that brighter light that I move my head into now, all of a sudden you can see my face. There's not less amount of light reflecting off of my face. Um, and you can also see the cards. So again, it just comes from that having the big monitor I have. It's about a 27 inch monitor. The webcam is perched on top of that monitor. And it has a studio light directly behind it, which you'll see in the other view. And about half of the studio light is kind of covered by the, uh, the back of the monitor. So it's just kind of diffusing off the top edge of the monitor, just hitting my face, my facial area, or my forehead really. And uh, from like here down, it's the darker, dimmer light of uh, just the other studio light that I have, the clamp light, that's pointing at my wall, bouncing off of the side wall I have, which is like a light tan peachish color, bounces off of here, and the studio light kind of bounces off the ceiling, off the side wall as well. So all this diffused light that helps to uh, just give me this nice view where I have enough color and you can see enough of the background as well, colored in, especially with the natural light coming in through the window uh, by the painting, that you get a nice view again of the really bright light by my face, not good for cards, but if you bring it down to chest level, perfect. One is an umbrella studio light back here with the umbrella closed. I found that gives off a lot less light than with the umbrella open. So there you go. That's less light than with the umbrella open. So here it is, here's the clamp light. It's basically, you get these at the hardware store for like 11 bucks. It comes with the whole thing. You just have to get a light bulb for it. Get a daylight LED bulb. I took a piece of a dollar store shower curtain, cut it, and put some paper clips around the clamp light, paper clips around the shower curtain there. And that's it. That costs you, uh, well, 12 bucks if you count. And then maybe the light bulb is maybe another four or five bucks. So maybe around 20 bucks for the whole entire light. I have a pole that's part of a photo backdrop I got as one of my light kits. Uh, but you don't really need that because this clamp thing will clamp onto anything. I'm um, even like the edge of a shelf, clamps onto the edge of a shelf. It's just getting the right placement for it to where it's placed, where it's kind of directly in front of you, directly behind the webcam to have the best uh, light possible. Okay, so one more thing I just wanted to add to this video about card trick lighting is you don't need all the fancy equipment because you might say, oh, Mike, you got a big monitor. And if you have a smaller monitor or a tablet or a laptop and you have some light diffusing partly off the back of that, going over the top, hitting you in the head, you know, you get the idea for the card trick lighting. But this is literally my smartphone. This is just my Samsung S7, I think it's called Galaxy uh, smartphone. And it's got a better camera than my webcam, honestly. And it's got the studio light coming out at the bottom of my monitor because that's kind of propped up against the little bracket at the very bottom with some decks of cards behind it. So if you stack some decks of cards up, put your smartphone against them on your desk or wherever, and you have like a little table or surface in front of you, um, you know, it's not quite the best angle here, I guess, as far as like being able to see the cards on the table, but most tricks I would pick the cards up anyway. And I can show it this way, and you can see you actually get really better lighting. I can show it by my face, I can show it down here, all around. 
And again, this is just my smartphone with my smartphone's built-in microphone. And the trick is, the big trick I learned in videography, the closer you are to the camera, the better the image looks. Sounds kind of obvious, but I know a lot of times I'll try to do a wide shot and it won't look good. Even with my, uh, I have a Sony RX10 in the back there, which is a nice kind of mirrorless style camera. But if I'm too far away, it does not look good. So if you get as close as you possibly can while still keeping your head in the shot and the cards and your hands in the shot, which I recommend because it's more personalized than just seeing a headless person doing a card trick, um, then you're getting a good quality video just by being close to the video. So that's it. You can do it low key, low budget. Uh, you can do it in your bathroom or your kitchen. They usually have pretty good lighting in your bathroom and kitchen. And those little vanity lights or lights in the kitchen diffuse off of those sidewalls and you get some pretty bright lighting. I hope you found that useful. A quick little hack for how to set up your lights for card tricks. Check out more at EffortlessMagician.com or go to the, web, go to the Facebook page, Effortless Magician. Uh, posting content there, especially a lot of content around the idea of getting over the anxiety of performing live or recorded video, say for a, a virtual magic show um, or whatever purposes you want to do. Because uh, it is kind of, kind of nerve wracking. You know, whether you're doing magic in any kind of venue, it can be nerve wracking. So how do you get over that to just do the video? and then put it out there and share it with other people. So I'll talk a lot about that. Hope you can check it out and I hope you found that useful.